guys what is going on Cassie clips here this is open country episode 2 um, I tried playing multiplayer with a friend who has the game and it didn't work like it just flat out didn't work um, every time we tried connecting or whatever it basically told us uh, connection loss like the closer we got to trying to connect or whatever we try it well that's really fast um, we tried doing it through PSN, we tried doing it through the game, and it just was not connecting. So, uh, I don't know if it's an issue with the game, and they're working on it. I'm not even sure if they know. I may have to report a bug to figure out what's going on. And I'm trying to figure the buttons out again. Primary weapon, I don't have a weapon. L2 to aim, R2 to hold breath, or R3, L3 to hold breath, R and R2 to shoot. Am I supposed to have a gun right now? Because I definitely don't have a gun. Oop. Press up on the D-pad. I am. There's nothing happening. End up getting attacked by something. And then um, when uh, when we were playing... Uh, or when we were trying to figure out how to play, um, it said something about basically uh, there's like a co-op mode and then there's also a, um, what's it called? Um, there's a co-op mode and there's uh, a versus mode. Uh, the co-op mode, what we were trying, it seems like when you play, you only set up one target to hunt. We, we tried the co-op, we didn't try the versus. Um, so maybe that one's working. I don't know. Maybe we'll try that next time. But, um, we tried the co-op. That's the one that wasn't working. And it basically gives you one target for both of you to go after. And I guess whoever gets it first, and that's the end of it. I'm not sure. And I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Because it's telling me, select your primary weapon by pressing up on the D-pad. I'm pressing up right now. Nothing's happening. Press L2 to aim, L3 to hold your breath, and, uh, R2 to shoot. Yeah, and R2 to shoot. I'm pressing up on the D-pad and nothing is happening. Now, I thought he gave us a shotgun. Did we not pick it up or something? Did I miss something? Am I supposed to make a bow, maybe? Insufficient resources. I need rope. I'm going to click. Oops. Did I make that? I think I just made an arrow. I was just trying to click on stuff to make all those things go away. A great alternative for the wooden bow or recurve. The wooden spear is an easier projectile based weapon to master. I could have swore he gave us a gun. Like an actual gun. There it is right there. Um, equip. There we go. Okay. Alright. Now we're good. Well, let's kill some wabbits. Oh my god. What is going on? That aim sensitivity is crazy. Let's turn it down a little bit. I'm going to turn down the music volume all the way. Um, if you guys are trying to make your own videos of this game or whatever, I would suggest doing the same thing. Um, I, I get copyright claims on this game. So, and I'm assuming it's because of the music. Mind the wind direction as well. You can monitor it at the top right corner. Uh see how I can monitor at the top right corner there's no like little flag or anything I saw a whole bunch of rabbits a second ago now they're all gone there's one over there oh my god it's still pretty high I can't <laughs> I can't it's too high um, everyone else is probably like man your aim sensitivity is low I just I can't do it Oh no, that's really slow. So like I said, I'm not a hunter. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shoot a rabbit in like a certain area or something. Of course, all the other ones come out. Yeah, now I can't even catch them. That's as fast as I can go, holding it all the way over. Alright, press and hold down L1 to use hunter sense. Okay. And then do I... I'll just hit X to harvest. Alright, um, let's turn it back up a little bit. Let's try right there. 
Like even moving that sliding bar. See, look at that. That's how fast I can move now compared to how it just was. That is a crazy uh, range that it has. Let's try it right there. That's a little better. Oh, I was gonna say it snapped right to it too. Wow. Maybe it didn't snap right to it. Maybe it just snaps by it because I should have had that. Um, how many are we supposed to kill? Because I definitely don't remember. I missed them both. Let's reload. She's not over there anymore. I don't know if how. Oh god, I don't know how much crouching actually helps. Okay, we need three. We have. This will be our second one. Did I run out of stamina? What's going on? There it is. Harvest. I thought that was one right there. It's just a rock. Um, when yeah, when we were trying to do it, uh, I think this is the area that we were trying to pick was Mellow Meadow, and uh, it was letting us pick a white-tailed deer or uh, antelope. Wow, that turned me way over there. Now I was trying to aim at this one. Of course, I can't see either one of them. But yeah, um, I don't know, I may have to look more into that. I literally thought this was just like an open world game where you can just go in there and, you know, two friends going around. Oh my God. Two friends just going around, you know, shooting, shooting up some animals and stuff, having fun, driving four wheelers. But it does not seem that it's like that. Wow. Wow. Wow, come on. A whole bunch of guys over there. Replenish your needs before using the hunter sense again. Tell me what to do. I guess they're probably talking about the water. I don't even remember how to do that. There it is. Okay, so I got three rabbits. Uh, wrong button. What else do I need? Return to the lodge. Okay. Um, there's a map. <coughs> Add marker. And of course, it doesn't show up, so I don't know why I added the marker. Alright, um, I just need to go north, northwest. So, probably this right here, this direction. It's not on the rocks. Rocks in video games are usually glitchy. And if you guys hear the dog barking outside, I apologize that it's not my dog, that is a neighbor's. Not that I have anything against dogs. I love dogs. I want a dog. I just, um, I don't kind of have the time for one. And living in an apartment complex, uh, it's expensive because they want an extra deposit and everything else. And um, I would prefer to have a dog that can have its own yard and stuff. And since I live in an apartment complex, we're not doing that. I don't want to be at work for 10 hours a day and uh, have my dog cooped up in a crate or something like that when he could be in a fenced in yard just chilling hanging out and stuff so all right interact let's go to the lodge yeah i would just prefer to have a yard fenced in yard for my dog to run around in um of course i'd have to be careful because the dog i want is an escape artist which is a husky um 
they're also very hairy and their hair sheds a lot, fur sheds a lot, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, that's why I don't have a, a dog. I have nothing against them though. Oh, you received 10 skill points. Okay. Oh, it looks like you got a customer guy. Unless, no, that's that ranger guy, isn't it? I don't remember. Hello. Hello. What's up, Gary? Oh, sounds like something that ought to get done. It certainly does. Here's the gist of it. I need you to head on down to Green Hook Sanctuary. It's an old place which used to be used to offer shelter to injured wildlife and the likes. It's been sold off to a new investor, and I have some supplies left around there. I need you to head on over there and gather them up. Are these supplies easy to carry? Well, no, but there's an ATV parked up down there. Hmm. Take it for a spin around Green Hoof and load all the supplies you can on the ATV. Drive them back to the front of the sanctuary and I'll take care of the rest. Hmm. Well, all right then. I'll get on it. Wonderful. I'll be waiting here for when it'll all be done. So I guess it gave us the mission, or it, accept, it accepted the other mission to be complete immediately because uh, I didn't click anything and it gave us that money and the 10 XP points and all that. So, alright. Where are we supposed to go? I don't remove that marker. Um... What's going on here? Oh wait, is that where I'm supposed to go now? I thought that was the marker I put down. I'm so lost. Alright, we're just gonna hit X on it. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, for those of you wondering about uh, my Minecraft videos, um, those of you that don't know, yes, I do Minecraft videos. Uh, if you're wondering about the Minecraft videos, though, I am still working on clearing out that uh, that entire area. Um, it's probably going to take a while. Uh, I thought I'd be able to do a lot quicker. I've been trying to kill creepers and stuff just to use C4 to blow away some of the land instead of digging it all out. Because that seems to be the, the most time-consuming thing is just the digging. Which, normally, if I had more days off, I could probably just clear it out all in, like, a day. Not the entire area, but, like, the, the first starter area in, like, a day. And um, I can start building around there, but um, it's taking a lot longer than I expected just because of... Just an update on that, in case you guys are wondering. Alright, so there's supposed to be a four-wheeler here? Or do I have to walk from here to go there? Okay, yeah, I have to walk up north. Yeah, that is the marker I put down. How do I remove that? Um, add marker. Remove marker. Square. There we go. Alright. So, yeah, from my understanding uh, with this game, even the single player, the other guy that I was uh, talking with, that I was trying to play with, he was t he's played a little more than I have in single player. He was telling me that basically uh, you have to start going further and further out away from the place. So you'll have to like camp out and stuff like that because it'll actually take days. So I guess you're always in this general area around here and you just like keep walking further and further, I guess, every time. <clears throat> Which maybe eventually we'll end up moving the RV, I'm not sure. Your power dam, okay. Can I interact with the dam? Because that would be cool. Other than just using this ladder, which that's not even a ladder that is the thing to open the dam can we open it oh we can find the valve return to the rv what i don't want to return to the rv oh it's making the water go away it's actually doing it that's kind of cool wait did we have to come here to release it to be able to drive through this i don't understand what just happened Leave the lodge to and travel to Mellow Hills. Travel to the dam. Find the valve control. Stop the water flow. Return to the RV. Hmm. I guess we were supposed to do that. I was just moving. I thought we had to run all the way over there. So 
So now we get to the RV and is it going to let us drive the RV or are we just going to like fast travel with it? Approach the rock to climb. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, it's probably talking about that right there. I was expecting like rock climbing. Alright, so our RV is what? Back this way? Am I going the right way? More south. There's the RV. Panorama view. Okay, use RV to travel to Green Something Sanctuary, which it's not even in here. Uh, oh, it's already. See, that makes no sense. It's already on there. Like, that's so confusing because I was looking on the left. So, the Green Hoof Sanctuary is in Meadow Hills, but I was looking on the left for Green Hoof Sanctuary. I, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel there. I wonder if it gives you a tip on on like the traveling. See, this is kind of more of a tutorial still. Um, but like, how am I supposed to know whether I needed to close that dam just to be able to drive over it if it's all fast traveling anyway? Yeah, just a sec. You here on behalf of Gary? Indeed I am. All right, listen. I'm super busy doing this place up, so here are the keys to the ATV. It's parked just outside. You find Gary's stuff in the bag. Go pick it up, drop it off. Uh, thanks. Anything else? Yeah, don't scratch my baby. No, of course. You know, I don't need to be picking up a whole bunch of stuff again. There's the ATV, though. Okay. Accelerate R2, L1 brake. That's weird that L1's break. Okay. Ooh, I didn't expect there to be a jump right there. I just thought it was like a small hill. Nice. I like how she's like, don't mess up my baby, but I have to jump the thing just to even move to where I need to go. Yeah, I'm just going kind of slow on purpose, guys. Oh, am I supposed to be going through this? Okay, it looks way deeper than that. Oh, I already messed it up. How do I reverse? I'm assuming it's L2. Yeah. Where we're supposed to go. Use the ATV to collect the toolbox from the tool shed, and then use the ATV to collect the supplies from the large garage. Okay, well, we're at the tool shed. Um, I don't remember how I got on it. Okay, circles to get off. So there should be a tool shed or a toolbox in here. Is that it? Well, it already puts it on there and then the ATV resets. Okay. I'm assuming we need to go this way. Not gonna lie, the driving this is not the greatest, but it's not horrible. Ooh. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? Uh, did I get everything? Up on the D-pad is for the lights. Use A to collect the supplies from the large garage. That looks more like a barn, but I'm assuming this is what they mean over here. Large garage. Is this it? Or maybe that's it to my left. That's a house. That's not a garage. Is this the garage? Outdoor drives, green hoof. Um, I'm 
Where am I supposed to be going? Up that way, so... Was that northeast? I'm going southeast, so... Off this way? Or is this just the house? Uh, nope, no, it looks like it's more west. No, because, well, oh, this is so crazy. Oh, I zoom in, R2. Okay, so we're here at the house. We need to go completely west. But see, I think that's just where our RVs parked. That was ATV garage. I think that's where we just were. So where's this big garage at that we're supposed to go to? There's no way it's further out than that. Um, yeah, see, because we already passed the park thing. Let's go back down to that other garage. Sorry about the controls, guys. I hope it's not getting you guys dizzy or anything. It seems very sensitive no matter what I'm doing. Is that what we need right there on that table? It is. That's stupid. Wow. Really, I can't walk the, over there? And I needed the ATV to drive 50 feet. I was expecting something totally different, but okay. I mean, I guess it's just an intro to driving the RV or the ATV. That's a lie. I know I hit some stuff. And all of a sudden she got really low. I think I've seen a tip that said something about three uh, three racetracks around the thing. All right, so we'll go here. I guess back to Snow Ridge Lodge. And the last time, I wasn't sure if it saved it or anything. Um, there are. It seems like there's a ton of auto saves. And then I personally went back to the campsite and saved it there because you now you can save it at the bed or whatever. So that's why we started back there. But technically, I think it's saving right now every time it loads. Welcome back again. Thank you so much for helping with those supplies. I'll put them to good use on starting the renovation of this here place. Oh, you're thinking of making some improvements. Buddy, this place will be unrecognizable. Here's something for your help. Thanks, Gary. All right, 50 experience, 50 bucks. Um, where's the button? There it is. All right, so we have, what, 10 points still, I think? Where does it say that? Uh, let's see where it says how many points we have. Am I missing it? Let's just take a look through here. All right. Um, let's see. I'm not too worried about weapons. Sneak, maybe, because those rabbits were kind of skittish. Um, I know we've bought some of these, but I don't even know which ones we bought. Oh, there's our points. We have 20, and it requires two. Okay, so we have a lot of points, actually. 
All right, water retention. Let's get one of these. Okay, that's how it says or shows how how many points you have. It shows it on the bows because now it's highlighted bigger, and then it also shows on the little square of the corner of where it says water retention. Um, let's actually get all three of those because why not? And then there's an advanced one that we're not going to worry about. Intuition. What's this? Maximum radius of the hunter sense is increased. Let's get one of those. Um, what's that? Uh, decrease overall stamina consumption. Let's get two of these. And let's, yeah. Wow, we're already down to three points. Um, and decrease the amount of health. Drop when low on other stats. Uh, increase the amount of energy gained after sleeping. Decrease the amount of inner overall energy drain. Uh, let's do one of those. Wait, what's this one? Oh, increase. And we already have one of those. We can increase it to 80. Now nah, we'll do energizer. That's fine. All right. Um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, he didn't give us another mission. I wasn't paying attention. Are we supposed to go to the new area? This is the first stop for anyone traveling from Snow Ridge Lodge to Tumnus Valley. Alright, whatever lives fast travel, I guess. Alright, uh, so new area, but this is going to be it for this video, guys. Um, thank you again for joining me. I know we didn't do too much, but we did look over the shooting a little bit. I told you guys about the multiplayer. Um, I will find out if there is a workaround for it. Um, we literally tried it just yesterday. Uh, so that was the first time I was able to even find out that there was something wrong with it, but I'll try to find a workaround. Um, it doesn't seem like a bad game. Like I said, uh, there was a lot of stuff in the first episode that I did like the crafting and how you can upgrade and all that stuff. Um, the shooting, <laughs> the aim sensitivity is crazy. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there who play with high sensitivity, so you guys might like it. For me, it's a bit high using a controller. Um, if I was using a mouse, it might be something different. I know a lot of people play on PC, and I do think this game is available on PC. So it might not be an issue for anyone who's playing on PC. But uh, with controller, for me, that sensitivity was pretty high. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure that you guys are subscribing and liking the video. And for some reason, I can't move. There we go. Um, make sure that you guys are subscribing and liking the video if you like it. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. It lets me know that you guys want to see more gameplay of this. If you guys aren't liking the video, then I will not, uh, I will not be coming back to the, to the game. How do I, oh, there we go. Nice. They call it old chip, but they want me to down it. So why not just trank it? Alright, looks like we got some new tools and there's actually reflection in the game. I didn't realize that. Does it show me in there? It kind of does. Alright, but yeah, that's that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, like I said, uh, we'll try to figure out what's going on with the multiplayer. Hopefully we can um, actually do something with that. How long can I sleep? 
Uh, I don't know where that would get us to. That's not even letting me sleep. I was hitting X on it, wasn't even letting me sleep. I don't know what was going on. And I don't know what that squirrel thing was or whatever. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for joining me, guys. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Uh, the more likes I get, the more um, stuff I will be posting in the game and everything. Or posting of the game. Um, this one actually got a lot of views on the first episode. I think people are just interested in how the game plays and everything. So, like I said, so far there is issues with the multiplayer. Uh, me and a friend could not join. We are both on PS4. Uh, I will look into that, see if we can find a workaround or something. Um, and go from there. Uh, hopefully next time. Uh, maybe it'll be patched if the devs know about it or something like that. But we'll see about trying to play together. If not, if you guys still want to see more videos, like I said, the more likes... I get the more I know that you guys are wanting to see more gameplay. Or you can put it down in the comments. Hey, please post more videos. I got no problem doing that either. Um, also, don't forget to hit the notification bell icon. That will let you guys know when I'm posting videos and stuff. I've been trying to do that at specific times, but it is not a guarantee. So, um, if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know if I'm like off schedule or something like that. But I have at least been trying to post daily, and I will try to stick with it. Sometimes I'll suppose more than uh, one video a day. So if you hit that notification bell and you already seen one video for the day, you'll probably think I'm done. But if you have the notification um, thing on, then you'll know that, hey, he posted another video. But anyways, thanks for joining me today, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.